So, Mamir, why did Freya spin your face? No. Speak of Balder. He claims nothing harms him. Aye, Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh, a spell? Mimir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Hope he's not broken. Mimir, we're on the lake. Perfect. Dock us near the bridge. did tell me why Freya spin your face. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. Ed, how do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! Good. Now put my lips to the horn. That statue made in honor of Thor, and seen as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber. He was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. All right, wish me luck. Uh, ooh. Ha, ha, ha. You envy me. I've still got it, lads. He remembers me. Why you? Oh no, that's not right. Eh, ma kuna hun tun kun. Aho e e ko no tun no funo. the pain of your loss. He will help you. Curious. What is it? Oh, nothing to be concerned about. What is he doing? Making sure we're headed in the right direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the people we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looked kind of mad for a moment there. Now that, he thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! 
The water has dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. You were taken Freya married from Odin? too early. You know what? I'll tell this one later. You who walks among the living, my beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sailor magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death. If only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and <laughs> spread them across the lake. <laughs> Bring me your bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. Good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. Father, 
Maybe we should look for those bones. Why? Can you hear him? We can talk to Mom again. If we keep an eye out look while we... Look if you we... wish, boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. This chisel we seek, what is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <clears throat> there was a giant once named Famu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Famu hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Harimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Arimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Bamur chased after his son, but in his emotional state soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. And what happened next? You'll see. Thor killed him. Oh no. He fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty claw bag just got lucky. A wolver! A dangerous beast. We will take him down together. Should we attack? Of one, yes. A very, very giant chisel. <laughs> Darn, that didn't seem to do anything. Lad. Thanks. His idea. Magically sealed, I'm afraid. Thamur was a frost giant. He died, his final breath froze everything. We'll need something to get through this one.
something up there. There he is. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. we do? Be ready! Wilbur, find you! An all fine light crystal. Wonder what it's for. Read it. Sir. To Njord and <laughs> Alfred back to seas back. Ah, yes. It was believed that Njord calmed the winds and seas for the fishermen. For that, they loved and worshipped him here. Hey! Hardened World Tree Staff. That's Andy. <laughs> Follow me, Atreus. I'm on way. Well, here's the base for the crystal we saw. But how do we get it down? How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. Boy. Ready.
Fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so it sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh... It doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> Your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? You let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water drop. He stepped between realms. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. So, this plan of yours. Can you guess it? Any Knowing interest you, in checking it, it out? Involve standing around here. Correct. But how do we move forward? Boy, Karma really likes you, I think. Even bedded his beard with it. I happen to think he looks dashing. You know, for a snow-covered corpse. <laughs>
You boys look like you're gearing up for quite the journey. We heading into that building? Yes. You think there's something inside that'll help us break the ice and get to the chisel tip? No. I'll keep thinking. on a diplomatic mission once, trying to broker a peace between Asgard and Vanaheim. That war. So many lives lost. What I didn't know was Thor had already gone on a... Well, that's 
stealthy plan it is not. Now we must free the other strap. We do? Why are we going up when what we need is all the way down there? Think. Well, the chisel tip is under thick layers of ice, so melting it won't work. Correct. And there weren't any shattered crystals nearby for me to shoot, so that's not an option. Correct. That just leaves smash from the ice. We need something ridiculously heavy to... Oh, I get it now. Good. going to turn the hammer so it lands near the chisel tip. Not possible. We cut it free, write it down, and figure out what comes next after. So your plan involves a whole bunch of luck then? You are welcome to suggest a different one. Tight. Uh, best plan seems ill advised. Quiet head. Jump! That didn't work. It only fell a little ways. How do we get to it? We cannot. Look here. What does it say? When time itself is deserted, the forward path is retrograde. Retrograde? It's backwards? Those symbols. The seasons? Yeah, but the order's all jumbled. Shouldn't it be winter, spring, summer, autumn? Why start with winter? It's from a song Mother used to sing. Don't I know that one? Winter that Quiet head. Doesn't like music either. Got it! There. Vower, house, veteran, sword. No, that wasn't right. Winter, spring, summer, autumn. But reversed. Autumn first, winter last.
Atreus, that word. Thorla. It means endure. Try it. Thorla. Well done, lad. Write it again. Thor. Horizon! The energy's lifting the platform! Keep writing. Thor. 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 Head. How is this possible? My guess? Temporal magic. Dangerous stuff the High Vanir gods used to play around with. The ability to freeze time. Happened to be a favorite of Njord himself, in fact. Used to? Why did they stop? Well... Turns out stopping time keeps the sun and moon from streaking across the sky. Unfortunately, it does not stop the wolves that chase them, always looking to sink their teeth in. After that, they decided it was best to leave time alone. I can't get to the wolf! Before the floor collapses.
did well. Thanks. The boy. Just having a little fun, you big grump. 